A brand new redesigned third generation Eve Aqua with thread. Eve has been busy the last couple of years releasing new products, but this is one that caught me off guard. So what's different about the new Eve Aqua and why did Eve make it? Hi, I'm the Brad Lloyd and on this channel, I'm helping you to create a better HomeKit smart home. If we're talking HomeKit, then there's a good chance we're also talking about Eve. They're committed to privacy, they have sleek designs, and of course, most of their products have thread. Most importantly though, Eve products just work really well. There's a lot of reasons to be excited for Thread, no manufacturer hub, great range, and much faster than Bluetooth. When Eve rolled out a firmware update to compatible Eve Aqua devices last spring, it was a big deal. Generally, Bluetooth range isn't great, so maintaining a reliable connection outside can be challenging. Adding an Apple TV or a HomePod could help, or you could use the now discontinued Eve Extend, a device designed solely for the purpose of extending the range of Eve Bluetooth devices. Thread mostly eliminates this problem, and now you could add a full Thread device to extend the range of your Thread connection even further. This basically means adding any powered Thread device like Nanoleaf Essentials, Eve WaterGuard, the new Wemo dimmer switch, or Eve Energy. Before I tell you why I think Eve made a new version of their water controller, let me tell you a little bit more about Eve Aqua, what it can do, and my experience with this device over the past couple of summers. If you have an irrigation system, that's awesome. I wish I had one too. There are some HomeKit options for you like the Yardian Pro, but Eve Aqua is simply a water controller that connects to your spigot to make your sprinkler or hose smart. One end connects to the spigot and the other to the hose. That's how simple the setup is. Just a quick note on the installation though, you should only hand tighten. This is very important since using a wrench could damage the unit. If you're having trouble getting a good grip to fully tighten, you can try using a rag. You can control Eve Aqua right from the device by pressing a simple button. And if you have kids that you think are going to have a little bit too much fun with that button, then don't worry, there's a child lock that you can enable. Of course, the real fun happens in HomeKit. You can use Siri to control your sprinkler, which means being able to control this from your iPhone, Apple Watch, Apple TV, or HomePod. In the Home app with a simple press, you can turn Eve Aqua on or off, or by long pressing, you can get more options. First of all, you can see a timer that counts down to the time your water turns off. Do you remember if this has always been this way or if this is a recent update? Either way, it's definitely a nice visual. How does Eve Aqua know when to turn off? Well, click settings or scroll down to see your default runtime. This is actually one of my favorite features because it means I'll never forget to leave my sprinkler running. I have mine set to 15 minutes, but as you can see, you can change this to whatever works for you. You can also see the battery level. Eve Aqua takes two AA batteries and Eve includes Energizer Max batteries with the unit. It's nice that you don't have to worry about recharging them and a pair of batteries will likely last you the full summer season. That's basically what we have in the Home app, but there's even more options available in the Eve app. So let's take a look at that next. Many of the same features exist here as well. You can turn it on or off and you can see a timer that will count down. You can also adjust your default duration here. But there are a couple of differences like the schedule feature. You can customize Eve Aqua to turn on at a specified time for specified duration and select the days of the week that you want it to run. Worth noting is that while you can select the day of the week, you can select odd or even days, which would be handy because in many cities, including where I live, even numbered houses can only water on even days and odd numbered houses on odd days in order to conserve water. This is a restriction of HomeKit, though there are ways of getting around this if you want to play around with Siri shortcuts. I'm not going to get into that today, though no, it is possible. There are also some suspension scenes that you can install, like pausing watering for the current day, as well as today and tomorrow. Once installed, you'll also be able to enable those scenes right in HomeKit, not just the Eve app. So if you know that rain's in the forecast, it's an easy way to save some money and let Mother Nature do the watering for you. The Eve app also allows you to view a history of your watering and shows your estimated water consumption. For this to be accurate though, you do need to enter your sprinkler's flow rate, which should be included with the packaging that came with your sprinkler. These are all great features, but none of them are unique to the new third generation Eve Aqua that was just released. So what is different? First, the design. The new one looks even more sleek. It's rated at IPX4 with a UV coating to prevent sun fading, but so did the original. The biggest difference comes on the inside, which I would venture to guess is the biggest driver for this new release, and it's an upgraded brass faucet connector and magnetic valve that Eve says should help prevent leaks while operating quietly. I would never have called the previous Eve Aqua loud, but the leaks I can understand. I personally have not had any issues like this, but I have heard this feedback from some. 
I'm all about improving durability and using stronger materials. If the magnetic valve system helps, then yeah, this is a good thing. Leave a comment if you've tried out the new Evoqua, and if you've had issues in the past, well, perhaps it's time to give this new Evoqua another go. I'd love it if you could take a minute to come back to this video to leave a comment with your experience. Right now, I have the second generation model attached to the spigot at my front yard and the new third generation in my backyard. Since Eve claims a quieter operation, here's a quick sound test. While I wouldn't call the original loud for an outdoor device, the new third generation is noticeably quieter when turned on. As you can see, I've used a splitter. It actually worked out well because I have an Eve Aqua attached to my backyard sprinkler and the other connected to a hose with a regular nozzle, but this wasn't how I was actually planning on setting it up. This has nothing to do with the new Eve Aqua. The second generation was exactly the same, but due to the angle of my spigot, there wasn't enough room for installation between Eve Aqua and the side of the house. The splitter provided me just enough extra room and this actually worked out for the best so I can use a separate hose with a nozzle and not have to constantly disconnect the sprinkler. In terms of performance, it's worked great so far. It's only been a month, but it hasn't leaked and it's always responded, similar to my second generation model. I absolutely love Evoqua and I've included it on some of my favorite HomeKit device lists in the past. I love the convenience of being able to water my yard from anywhere, not having to worry about leaving it running, and the schedule feature is helpful, especially if you have a garden, something my wife and I have discussed for next year. Second generation or third generation doesn't really matter to me. They both have thread, they look awesome, and they work flawlessly. Though again, I know some people have experienced problems with leaks, so hopefully that brass connector and magnetic valve have fixed that problem. Luckily, we still have a couple of warm months left where I live, but for those like me who live in colder climates, make sure to uninstall Evoqua before winter. It's rated for minus four to plus 50 degrees Celsius. I try to put mine in storage before the last frost. Remove the batteries, give it a good clean, and let it fully dry before storing it away for the winter so that it's ready to go for next spring. Evoq was available for around $200 or $150 US from Amazon or the Eve online store. I'll have affiliate links in the description. This is an investment, but it can save you money on your water bill, and it's one of those HomeKit devices that can absolutely make your life easier. I really hope this video was informative and helped you decide if Evoq was a device that has a place in your smart home. If you did find it helpful, then I encourage you to give the video a like, it really does help my channel. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.